Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to share with you some of my favorites that I have been loving this month. Um, I don't have too many um, but I will show and share with you what I do have and what I do grab for almost every time I do my makeup. Um, so yeah, make sure you <laughs> subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos that I post. And why don't we just get started? Okay, so in no particular order, the found, or blah, 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 the primer that I have been grabbing for most of the time this month, probably more so off the camera than on the camera because I try different primers all the time, but is the Too Faced um, Hangover Primer. I really, really love this. It hydrates when your skin is feeling a little bit, you know, dehydrated and dry, you know, from the cold and stuff and everything else. This is a good one to grab. I really, really love it. It smells amazing. And I think it does wonders. I'm almost out of it, so I'm a little bit sad. So that's why I try to mix up some of my other primers. But this is the one that I have been grabbing for the majority of the month. So if you've not tried this, I definitely would. I do have oily skin, and it works just perfect for mine as well. So um, yeah, to the foundation that I have been um, using ever since that I got it. It's kind of like a newer product, but ever since I tried it, you've seen a um, video on it already, but I can link that down below for you if you've not seen it. It is the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. Now, this is like my double wear but in drugstore form. So for me having extreme oily skin, do I still have to blot with this? Yes, I do. But I also do that with the double wear as well. So this one I have just been grabbing. I like how it blends out. It looks smooth on the skin. It looks, um, you know, hydrating. It doesn't look too dry. And especially with my oily skin, like I only have to blot maybe like once or if it's a very long day, twice. But this stays on all day. It doesn't crease. It doesn't crack. It doesn't show anything. Um, so this is the one that I have been grabbing this month. Moving alongside with the Maybelline theme, I've gone back to my Maybelline Fit Me found me, or blah, 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 concealer. Sorry, uh, the concealer. I just I like the shade with the darker shade here so it is very smooth it doesn't crease underneath my eyes um, so this is in shade fair 15 but for highlighting under here I just I've been grabbing this one again so I like it I haven't been using too much of my shape tape um, you know I try to switch things out so I don't get just stuck on one thing but this isn't as full coverage to the shape tape I will give it that. It still does show a little bit, but I just love how it goes on over top of my foundation. To a powder that I cannot get enough of. I use it every single day. It's the Lancome Absolute Powder. I heard of this through Jaclyn Hill. So she loves to be glowy and everything, and so do I. But having oily skin, again, you know, you can't really use the dewy foundations or the dewy primers or anything like that. So this product, I saw her use it and I was like, that's it. This is how I can make my skin look dewy without having the oils come through and adding on top of all the foundation. So this is just like a kind of translucent tea powder, but it has the sheen to it so the way I apply it is I take my beauty blender and it's you know still damp so this is what it looks like it's so pretty and I take it and I pop it in there just like she did pounds it off and you press it right into the skin and it gives your skin just like this natural glow without the disgusting oily you know stuff coming through your face this one I have been in love with and I probably won't trade this out anytime soon. <laughs> Moving on to a bronzer that I have been just grabbing for over my, you know, Essence Sun Club is the 
Physician's Formula Bronze Boost. If you don't want a heavy bronzer, you can just take it as it is, or it does really, really build up too. But it just looks like a natural sun kissed look. I've just been grabbing it every time I do my makeup. Um, the package is a little bit bulky, but it's okay. As long as the bronzer is working for me, I don't have an issue with the packaging. But this is the one that I have been grabbing for the most of the month. So, moving on to highlighter. It is the Becca um, Champagne Pop. And I try Moonstone a little bit as well, but this is the one that I have been grabbing every single day too. You know, I just move back and forth. I did was using like my dose of colors, but you know, I'm going to give it a rest. I'm going to move into some other stuff. And this one, I, you know, forget how much you love things. You have to go back into your collection and find out what you love the most. And I opened a drawer, I found this, I was like, oh my god, this to try again. I love this. So, yep. Moving on to blush. I only have a couple more um, products, but, you know, some blushes that I use aren't very pigmented. And some that I have in my collection from, you know, past... This is an actual Mary Kay blush, so this is what the package is. So it literally comes in this little pan. I'm sure I could put it in a Z palette. I just don't. I just leave it in here. So this is a strawberry cream, and it's just like a pinky shade. It shows up on the skin. It doesn't leave your skin. Like some you put on, and you can't tell like two hours later that you have blush on. Um, I just have been using probably this for, I'm going to go and say like 15 years now. I love how their blushes last on my skin. Um, so yeah, go ahead. Mary Kay. Woo, woo, woo. And the last two products. Okay, so the last one of the last um, ones. I can't remember if I put this in my last month's video. I was too lazy to go back and check. But it's the Total Temptation by Maybelline Brow Stylist. This I have been grabbing. I look like I have like natural brows. I mean, it it does look like they I fill them in a little bit, but this I just I love how it works with my eyebrows. It doesn't come off hard. It's very smooth. So I'm not gonna talk too much about it. I know I've talked about it before. Love this. And the last but not least is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I have it on now. I don't need lashes when I put this on. Some mascaras, when you first put them on, you're like, hmm, you have to add some lashes here, girl. But this one, I feel like this is like one of the best products, mascaras that I have ever, ever tried. I think it's my most favorite right now. I just, I just love how my lashes look with this on. So... If any of you are interested, this is a great product. But that completes all of my favorites for the month of February. What I think works and what I think is great, it may only work for me. It's not going to work for every single person here. So, you know, if you do try it out and you don't like it, don't make me. But I encourage you to try some new products, and those are the ones that I love this month. So... Make sure you subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time.